Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to add and manage users on your WinCloud domain. Before we get started, I'd like to mention that since WinCloud is still evolving, the steps discussed within the next part of this tutorial may not accurately reflect the WinCloud UI. So, if at any point WinCloud receives an update, we will do our best to update the following instructions as well. To begin, let's review the types of users that may be added to your domain, starting with the Domain Admin. This is the admin account that is automatically created when you register a new domain. As the admin, you can create and manage users, add devices, and perform any task without restriction. A domain super user has the same abilities as the domain admin. This is a user that can help the admin manage the domain. By default, any account added by an admin or super user will begin with permissions equivalent to the user account level shown here. That is to say that this account can only access devices that have been assigned to them by an account with elevated permissions. New to WinCloud, a subdomain superuser has the same abilities as a superuser, however their oversight does not extend beyond their portion of the domain. With that said, let's use our browser to open WinCloud.net and create our first user. If you don't have a WinCloud domain, use the register button to create a new account. Then, after account creation, please log in to WinCloud. To add a user, you will need to log in using an account with either admin or super user credentials. Then, select the User tab and click Add User in the top left corner. When prompted, Complete the required fields and click the Create button to add this user to your domain. After adding a user, the account must be activated by following the prompts within the verification email. However, as an admin or super user, you can also activate the account by clicking the Activate button while the user is selected. And, in addition, an admin or super user can also delete or update the information used to create the user account. While an account is selected, you can also configure a user's permissions. The permissions define the actions a user can perform within the domain. By default, a user cannot access any device on the domain until a device has been specifically assigned to them. There are two permissions that may be assigned to any user. Super user, which will allow the user to manage other users and HMIs on this domain, and Dashboard Basic, which grants basic dashboard access, allowing them to create new dashboard tags within the Data Source tab and projects within the Project tab using HMIs under their control. To allow this user to access a device, select the Directory tab, choose the device or folder that you would like to allow access to, and click Add Permission to allow this user permission to access the device, according to the selected settings. When allowing a user permission to access a folder, the user will inherit the settings that you select and those permissions will apply to each device in that folder, unless you add or allow additional permissions for a specific device in that folder or a subfolder. The actual control a user has over any given device is then calculated based on the settings which are either allowed or inherited. To provide better management over the domain, the latest version of WinCloud includes the ability to define a subdomain superuser. That is, a superuser that manages a specific folder, which includes the ability to add or modify any users or devices within that folder or subdomain. 
To create a subdomain superuser, assign a standard user to a folder. Then, within the user permissions, enable the setting subdomain superuser. Within our next tutorial, we will demonstrate how to access and customize the site settings of your WinCloud domain. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our channel to check out the latest technical tutorials. Feel free to check out our forum as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.